What's up guys, it's Meaty Mike. My name's Mike and I love meat. We're firing up a smoker and cooking up an awesome salmon. Let's do it. My oh my, these are some nice salmon fillets. You want to get wild caught salmon. It can be Alaskan, it can be sockeye, whatever you want to go with. So I have two sockeye salmon fillets here. I'm going to start with the brine. I'm going with a dry brine. You can do a liquid brine. I'm going in dry. So I got about four cups of brown sugar here, some salt, black pepper, dill, and garlic powder. I'm just going to mix this all together. You want to make sure you have kosher salt, not table salt. It's not going to do the trick. Throw in the pepper, a little bit of garlic powder, not a lot, and a little bit of dill weed. This brine is going to pull out all of the liquid and moisture out of the salmon and cure it and get it ready to put in the smoker. I'm going to lay out the bottom of this pan here. You want to cover all parts of the salmon. You don't want to leave anything open. You can keep them whole. I'm going to cut them in half. Before you do this, you want to make sure that you run it under cool water and pat them dry as well. If you have bones in here, go ahead and peel them out. I'm also going to keep the skin on. Then I'm going to cover this whole salmon. Yeah. Lay them right on top of each other. Go back in there with your dry brine. We're gonna have some good looking fillets in the morning. So that looks pretty good. Next, we're gonna wrap this. I just got some tin foil here. So all right, she's nice and tight. I'm going to put this in the fridge to brine overnight. You can do it four hours, eight hours. I'm going to do it overnight, get a good cure for this salmon so she's ready to go in the smoker tomorrow. Okay, so we just took these salmon fillets out of the fridge after letting them sit in there overnight. And just look at all the liquid that brine just sucked out of the salmon. You can tell a big change in the color already. It looks great. So now we're going to go on to the next step. Rinse all of these fillets under cool water. Get all the brine completely off. Then we'll pat them all dry with a paper towel and let them sit out on a rack for two to four hours. We're going to let it form a nice pellicle and that's what's going to absorb all that smoke while it's cooking in the smoker. We've been letting these salmon rest on these racks for just over two and a half hours now. You'll know when they're ready to go and you'll see that nice pellicle forming. It's almost like a shiny film that's forming over these fillets. Let's go out to the smoker. So we're smoking on low temps for salmon, baby, 150 degrees. Your cook time is going to vary depending on the thickness of your fillet, you're going to shoot for about two hours. I'm using my favorite blend of wood chips for this smoke, a mix of cherry and pecan. It's going to get some good flavor to that salmon. I'm going to come back out in about an hour and put a glaze on it. It's been an hour. Salmon's looking good. We're going to take these out, put on our nice glaze, honey, maple syrup, some thyme, and minced garlic. Right on thick. This is gonna give a nice glaze as it finishes cooking. Rack number two. Mm, mm, mm. So we're gonna close this back up and let it finish up for the last hour. Then we'll come pull them out and eat. We just pulled out the salmon after two hours. Look at the color on that. I'm ready to feast right now, but before we do, we're gonna get some of that glaze that we put on earlier. We're just gonna finish it off. Oh yeah. So let's just pull some of this off. Look at that. Man, I can't wait to try it. That is delicious. The glaze that we got on there, it's still moist in the middle of it. Good amount of salt. It just peels right off the skin. This is just a flaky, delicious salmon. So appreciate you watching how to make the salmon. Man, I just keep looking at this. I just need to go eat it at this point. So stick around for our next video. Mm -hmm.